Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to create a AEM component using JavaScript use APIs. As part of this tutorial, we'll see how to use JavaScript APIs to fetch data from the JCR and to provide that data to Sightly for rendering. So as part of this tutorial or when you use these APIs, what you must know, right? These APIs are deprecated and should not be used now. Then why am I explaining this to you? So if you move to any project, old project, which still using these APIs, so you must know how these APIs are used because these APIs are still valid and work with AEM 6.5. Ideally, you should not write those now, but these are supported by AEM. So if you move on any old project, you can see these kind of APIs. So as part of this tutorial, I'll show you how these work. So as part of this tutorial, I'll show you a demo where these are fields, first name, last name, profession. And at, at the end, I'll show you how you can use global object. Using that global object, I'll show you the title of that page where this component is deployed. Right. For the rendering, we'll use Sightly. And for the backend or the APIs which fetch the data, we'll use JavaScript use APIs. Okay, so I have a component which has three fields in dialog first name, last name, which are text boxes, and another one is a profession, which is a checkbox. Now, to use this JavaScript APIs, you always write a JavaScript file, I mean .js file. So you can add this file anywhere, but we generally keep these files in the component itself right so let's see how you can write that so this is a simple syntax where first you use this use this is important that's why we used to call it use apis use and then function and then what you do gray knight resource properties so these properties objects are available here there are other ways as well how you can get this property but i will keep this as a simple because i just want to explain the basic of these apis because this these are not gonna use further in future once you got these properties now you get what is your property this is the name of your field as usual as as the dialogue works these are the name of field and this is again the name of the field now what you are doing you are returning an object right you are keeping those in a object in a key value pair let's say f name and i'm adding f name is this you can have this as a different name right but this is the name what we will use to get this information in my site link, okay you can have any any variable name here and same here so what i'm doing i'm having these three parameters means these three variables which contain the first name last name and professor which is the checkbox and returning to, to wherever this 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 is being called okay now what i'll do in my sightly let's come to sightly again i use the data silly use this is the tag i use for sling model as well now this is the variable and i'm saying this is my use class right you see i'm just only give the name because this is in my component itself these are in same directory I mean this and this these file are in same directory so once i have this in this in this variable i got this entire object right entire object right now what i say author dot f name what i define here author means this entire object stored in author now f name first name and i'm saying the last name okay it should be l here l last name and what i'm saying author dot is prof right if you see i use this word here so is prof is the value of the this checkbox right is prof here so what i'm saying is is prof is true then add professor and if it is false then add writer so we'll see this now now let me save this and let me show you the dialogue as well click on the first name you see this name property what i was talking about this f name same i use here right now let's save this and let's drag and drop this component over my page so I'm using my old project now to explain these concepts because I will commit this code to get so component name was info author info save it so because it's a false initially right so it was showing writer now let me edit that and say am and then second is geeks and let me check this as well right and save see the values has been changed the first name was am 
another one is a geeks and if i say it is checked then display the professor what i mentioned here in this line so that way you can use these apis so javascript use apis you can import any other library as well in this using this tag right if you are interested i can explain so now till now i only show you properties all the global objects available in this file so you can use any global objects as per your need so let, i'll show you the page manager here okay now let's see how you can use global objects here now if you check here so now see here i'm using page title what i'm getting page title of the page where i use this component so what i'm doing here i'm getting current page right this object is available in this file current page get properties and i'm getting this jcr colon title so that way you can get the page properties as well so you will get the title of that page now you see the page manager i simply saying page manager dot get page and what page i need i need this page right i gave a path of page till here i got a page now i'm saying what is the title of that page so dot title or if i need name i can get the name dot name so that way you can use these objects here now what i'm doing i'm returning these values here let's say page title is equal to p title i use this variable here and now page title page title for what the page i got from the page manager and you will see here i'm using a different variable for this now actual variable is page title with t caps and here t small so you have to use this this is just to explain you right you can use different variables here now save it here what i'm saying page title author dot page title what i return here this one right and here i'm saying the page manager author dot page title which i return here in this line number 17 so now let me save this and let me refresh this page so you will see this page title home with i'm on this home page so this page title is home and the page title of that page which i got from the page manager is equipment so if you change let me show you like it is coming from the page title let me see the page and say i'm adding something else and when i save here see the updated values so that way you can use javascript use apis in your aem component ideally you should not use now but if you have any project which already using it so that way you can understand how these javascript use apis work i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment thank you